Hey guys, this is what you're looking at, and today we have the Umarex licensed H and K USP CO2 pistol. Hope you enjoy the video. Come on. Okay, guys. First off, here, if you are interested in this pistol, I will have a link in the description. This will be available on Airsoft Station for forty-three dollars. So really good price, but let's go ahead and go over what you get with this pistol and why I think it would be a great starter gun or just a great alternative for any of y'all out there that want a USP. Okay, so when you buy this pistol, it's going to come in that generic see-through plastic box that you'll probably find at Walmart when you buy a CO2 pistol from Walmart, as I'm sure these are available in stores also. In the package, you'll get a pack of sample BBs, an Allen screw, which is for your 16 round single stack magazine and your instructions and of course above all things you get the USP itself okay as I said it is a $43 pistol and for that the first thing you should expect before you even open the box is that this is a full plastic construction gun the only thing metal up here I believe is the trigger the internals and the barrel the slide the receiver the safety selector, the hammer, and the sights, and the trigger guard are all plastic. So the only metal parts is the trigger, and actually the mag releases too, so that's a pretty cool touch. So uh, yes, it is a plastic gun, but is it sturdy? I would say definitely. The grip itself still has the stipling and all the texturing that you would see on a USP. And to top all that off, you got some really nice trades. I'm just zoom in here. You got HK USP on either side of the grip. And then looking at the left side of the side, you got HK USP caliber 6mm BB. And when you flip that over, you just get your generic warnings that are written out on the slide itself. But you also get HK on the chambering right here. So that's a really cool touch. And overall, the trades on this gun aren't probably going to be comparable to your KWA gas blowback, but it definitely makes it worth it when you're buying a $43 pistol. As you probably already heard me state, this is a CO2 pistol. In the magazine itself, you are going to have a 12 gram CO2 cartridge. If you don't have these, they sell them at your local store or they do sell them on Airsoft Station. And they run, the, they run roughly at about 50 cents to 25 cents a piece, depending on the brand and how many you buy. To take the CO2 out of the bottom, you use the included Allen screw to screw this off to the left. I will not do that now, as I do have a CO2 cartridge in here that still has a decent amount of gas left. The magazine itself is a full plastic construction. Don't let that uh, deter you though, it is a very nice feeling plastic and all the parts that need to be metal like your valves, the spring follower in the magazine and the internals are all metal. So that's really good. And on top of that, the magazine does hold 16 BBs and is a single stack. And so far, I've had no problems with this magazine feeding. There's only two main features I can really talk about on the pistol itself that have a function. One of those being the trigger, as of course when you pull the trigger it will release the BB and the CO2. And there's actually three features, my fault. You have the ambidextrous mag release when either holding it in your right hand, you can hit it with your thumb or your index finger or vice versa with your left hand. And of course that just makes the magazine come right out and it is a free flowing mag. Clicks into place so you have no problem. And then your third feature is your safety selector switch. Works just like it should. Safety on, your trigger moves a bit but nothing happens. You put it in fire, you can fully engage the trigger. So that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, the hammer is really just has a very weak spring behind it and has no function, but it does go back when you shoot. So that's pretty cool. Okay, the last thing I would like to show you on this pistol before shooting it is the serial number. It is just one of those touches that they don't have to put on the pistol, but they do. And it's really cool that you get that with this price range. Not to forget, you also get the rail on the bottom of the USP. I find it to be a little bit more bulkier than most rails on pistols, but hey, if you got your attack light. Okay guys, so with a fresh CO2 cartridge, let's see what this pistol can do with .20 gram BBs. Two ninety-six, 
309, 280, 351, nothing, nothing. And 341.9. Okay, guys, so our first distance for the accuracy test is 50 feet. I got it zoomed in as much as possible. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully, we can see our BB flight here. Okay guys, so as you see, 25, I mean, <laughs> 25, 50 feet is no problem at all. Okay guys, now we're shooting at 75 feet, let's see what we can do. Okay, so as you see, the first shot was really just sighting in. Other four, we hit right in a row. Okay, guys, last distance is 100 feet. I've only got four more BBs left on me, so uh, let's see what I can do. Okay, so really hard for me to aim at 100 feet but I hit it the fourth time okay guys so in conclusion would I tell you to buy the USP I would say definitely for $43 you can't beat it yes it's all plastic construction but it's very sturdy plastic the magazine holds 16 rounds and I don't know if I mentioned it I'm able to get about uh, seven magazines seven magazines on one co2 charge so it makes it where you only got to take an extra with you when you go out on the field you don't have to carry you know your big propane tank or green gas you know if this is your first pistol i would definitely say it's a great way to immerse yourself into airsoft gas pistols and uh, with that said guys hope you enjoyed my review on the humorx license hk usp co2 pistol and this has been a what you're looking at production i'm out